Hi guys, happy Friday. How's it going? Welcome back to the Pillars of the Earth. Um, basically, last episode we met with Eliana, and that was interrupted by a commotion at the cathedral where one of the workers had died in an accident, and there are a bunch of stroking workers. And there were a bunch of stroking workers gathered around. So, if we can try to find out more about it. Are you looking for someone? I'm supposed to bring this bread to our canter. He's spending the day up there on the roof of the cathedral. But how am I ever going to make it all the way up there? Ah, uh, afraid of heights, hmm? But do you want me to go? No, no. I'll make it. I just need time. Okay. Hey, take back what you said before. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? What did I say? Oh, come on. You, you know what you said. About Aliena? Why would you care if I take her as a wife? <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Who does he think he is? Right. Can I say anything to Jonathan? Hey. <laughs> no. Okay. And what's up there? <laughs> Why won't you let us work? It's a bit harsh. Don't you know how serious the situation in Kingsbridge is right now? <laughs> what? What did he write? Alpha can't read. Right, Jonathan, but you can. Well done. It's a bit harsh. Jack! What is wrong with you? What did you do that for? Jack! This is a church! Oh, now don't go and tell on me. He started it. What do you want from me? Well, I, I just want you to take back what you said about Eliana. So what if I would marry her? What's it to you? Mind your own business. Look who's talking. Shouldn't you be working? Well, how can I if you keep distracting me? <sighs> Has to be Ugh. done. I doubt there's a copy of Ovid's work hidden around here. Oh, I didn't mean to select that one, sorry. I'm done for now. I just can't stand looking at it anymore. All right. I had better not. <laughs> to the market, then, I guess? Weird. There they all are. I will do everything in my power to make sure you are paid. I know that you showed us mercy before, when we had to flee from Earl's castle. My husband has worked here ever since, and we would like to be close to Our Lady Aliena, but we have no choice. Oh, Mary. The same goes for us, Mary. We all owe Philip much. I trust you, Father, but I risk my neck up there every day. My wife is right. If you can't pay, we'll have to move on. Kingsbridge is our home. Our I don't home. want to leave. Yes, she did. Let me think of something. Maybe there's a way we can pay your workers early, Philip. But selling the wool at the fleece fair will take at least a couple of days. I'm sorry, but me and the other workers can't wait that long. Not now that everything is so unsure. Trust me, Philip. I'll think of something. Jack! 
You said you weren't finished with your corbel. When I went by there, looked finished to me. You need to learn to let go and move on. Don't get lost in the details. It's my corbel. None of this is ours. Doing the carvings is the only job you didn't give Alfred to screw up. We should be thankful of the work we're allowed to do. Hello, Jonathan. And in our work, we must be thorough and steadfast. Thankful for what we are allowed to do. You are the one who wouldn't settle for less than a cathedral. You could have had other work, but no. For months, you remained steadfast, no matter the cost. When are you going to tell Jonathan about what happened in the forest? Oh, he's getting rebellious. Uh, shouldn't have said that about Jonathan. Damn it. Well, you did. You did. Okay, what's around here? How do I get to the stream? Who's this? Good day, my ladies. <laughs> if it isn't handsome Jack. <laughs> Jonathan. Have you come by to help, eh? <laughs> um, not really. Didn't think so. <laughs> After a day your hands start bleeding, piss and salt in the water will do that. Piss? Only way to get the grease and dirt from the wall. We can use a coin, but there's only so much pain you can take. Sooner or later, Aliena will have to look someplace else for Fuller's. I will find a way to help you with your hands. Well, as a start, then maybe you should get back to work as well. I'm just taking a break, all right? <laughs> Aliena's fillers have trouble with their hands. Find that about book for Ali, okay. What's down here? I'll buy the old mill again. Return to the village. I better not get too close. I need to do better than that. Try again. Oh, I missed. One more time. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, one, one more time. Ha <laughs> ha! I bet nice. there are more nests around. What's in here? What is in here? No, better not use that for target practice. Hmm, the water flow turns the wheel. Then there's more wheels. And the millstone. The water flow turns the millstone. So the motion of the water is used and transformed into another motion, the grinding. Shouldn't there be all kinds of motions possible? We use wheels to lift timber and stone up at the construction site. Maybe the right kind of mill could make a soaring motion or a hammering motion. Hmm. Hmm. I guess that's a challenge for another day. <coughs> Someone carved something into that beam. All faded and weathered. Can't read them. Okay. 
Let's say that's all there is. Is that all there is? I think so. I don't see the Bible. Even if I could find it, I doubt it would still be legible. <sighs> hmm. Is there a place further downstream? Nice. Whoops. Ah, right, okay. Everything all right, Jonathan? Get up. Hello. Hello, And that is little Jack. You see, he never paid the bridge toll when he came here. Sometimes you must show clemency and let those in need pass into our town without asking for coin. I'll remember your words, Brother Paul. Right into Kingsbridge. To the mill. Already know that that's to the mill. Eliana's house. Right to the north. It's switched off. Closed off, sorry. Go to monastery. Hmm. Washing out the grease and the dirt from the wool takes hours. And there must be an easier way to do the fully. I wish there was. Are you all right? Is something troubling you? <sighs> the Priory does not have the money to pay the workers early and to spend more on building materials. Not even if we sell all our wool at the Fleece Fair in Shiring. Oh, that is a problem. Of course that's a problem. Jack, please. <laughs> Pathway. Right. Not yet. I want to find out about the Amores first. Ali will be pretty impressed if I find that book. But where can it be? Maybe I should ask at their house. up there. Hmm. Let's ask these people. They would only cackle at me. <laughs> hmm. Nope. No of it here. to the monastery. I'm confused. <laughs> nope, no of it here. Jack, and Jonathan. 
This is not the best of times. Brother Cuthbert could have been a little more careful in storing the apples down here. I'm sure it's fine, Brother Andrew. I am not so sure. Even the salt is damp. <laughs> Cuthbert knew what he was doing. What is Brother Andrew up to? We will get a new cellar as soon. Andrew is preparing everything. Maybe they should get a new kitchener as well. Why? If what Cuthbert did was not good enough, then what I can do can't be much better. Cuthbert knew so much more than I did. Right. One? I am looking for a book. The kitchen is not the best place to start looking for a book. You should try the scriptorium instead. But you need to get past Remigius to get into the prior's house. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. <laughs> Five. Jonathan following me. Ah, locked. Ah, ah. Path to the cemetery. Let's go. Ooh. Looks remarkably different. Get up! The mortar won't mix itself. What's this guy's story? I won't complain if it has to wait until I'm done with me break. What's the problem? Well, the mortar won't, but I will. I'm taking me well deserved break. Well deserved? You deserve a good kick in your lazy drunk. Better a drunk than a bearded bastard. <laughs> Come on then, kick me. Show me what you got. Please, this is leading nowhere. Think for a moment what other people would do. What? Who? Tom Builder. Uh, Tom Builder. Now, he's a hard worker, isn't he? True, he's a hard worker, that he is. But also the man knows how to take a break. And he knows when to give others room for a break. This is not your break. You've been taking a shit for half a day and used up yours. <laughs> now don't you start and ruin mine too. Oh, wow. Look at them go. When I take a break, you take one too. Has your wife been cooking again, eh? <laughs> go, dare you! Go, drink yourself to death. Leave. He's to it. Oh, yes. Did I complain when you disappeared for the better part of the morning? You, that's none of your business. Can't get in there because of Remedius, isn't now it? Get to work. Oh, no. Hey, that looks like the stream. <laughs> Get up. I doubt there's a copy of Ovid's work hidden around here. Perfect. Before him, not a single fort remains. I think that was all of them. You must be joking. Yeah, there's nothing down there. Come on. Hello. Hello, Cuthbert. What's he doing out here? I hope you're happy wherever you are. What do you mean? 
wherever he is. He's lying right there. I made sure his wait for judgment oh. day is comfortable. Philip thinks we might uh, go to heaven when we die. No. We lie in wait till judgment day. That's why I want someone good to bury me. To make sure I lie well. I hope you will remember your promise that you will bury me. <laughs> well, that was that was a long time ago. <laughs> My first night in the priory. I'll bury you, brother Arnaldus. Don't worry. Thank you. And thank you for looking after Cuthbert. Cuthbert's fate. Cuthbert died in the first weeks of 1141. It had been a harsh winter. In the days before his death he had complained that he had trouble breathing and was suffering from pain in, in his chest. He, was in, he instructed Milius to find him a herb called Mary's Tears. The tea he made from the herbs seemed to help for a few hours, but the same night Cuthbert's fever got worse and his breathing shallow. Milius stayed with him and talked to him until he fell asleep. The next morning he did not wake again. When Cuthbert died he was 68 years old. 58 years of his life he had spent in, in, in Kingsbridge. There was no one old enough to remember the day he had come to the Priory. Cuthbert had never talked about his family. But to monks he had been like a father. And to Jonathan a grandfather which had given Cuthbert great joy during the last years of his life. May he rest in peace. I'm not joking. Hmm, right. And I'm not coming. And stop yelling! Way I back. will not! New layout by heart, no layout by heart. He's having fun. I don't want to disturb him. <laughs> okay. Ever growing. Old monks can't stand all the noise. Only on Sunday it's quiet. Hmm. That goes to the mill. I thought I had something there for like a map. Road to bridge. Cathedral and Priory. No travels for me today. All right. I've got to find that book. Better not. One is too old for the book, and the other is too young. <laughs> hmm. Maybe those two guys are arguing. So back to the air. Uh... Could be. They may know about it. They seem quite lecherous. So let's go ask those two guys we were just bellowing with about those books. Hello.
It's blocked. I have to go in through the front. Okay. Path to the cemetery. Let's try again. I doubt that will reconcile them. You do know that we might all lose our work. I know. Hmm. And when I'm out of work, I want at least to be relaxed. And not. Weird. <laughs> Jonathan but what's there? Were there any on that table? Jonathan Okay. Where would Remedius be? Alright guys, I'm going to call it here. I'm confused. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.